All right, so one of the things we'll do in this class is we'll deal a lot with numbers. There are a lot of ways we have to handle numbers, and precision is important. That said, often in your assignments, all you really need to do is make them pretty. Right? We're not doing math with them at the end. We're not doing any sort of calculation. They have to look good. A good example is like displaying uh, value as money. What we see a lot with value as money is uh, it's just two decimal points. But of course, Python, you have to do some work to make sure it stays to two decimal points. And often we don't care when we're at this level. Now, the caveat that as you go into higher level, we care a lot about decimal precision. Um, but initially, we just want it to look pretty, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we've got this example where we've accepted some user input. We're asking uh, for your name, and then we're printing out this nice little uh, bit over here so that you can see I ask, oops, I got, I got two of those. I really only need one. Uh, <laughs> let's run that again. So I asked for my name. My name is Mr. B. And uh, hello, Mr. B, how are you? That's awesome. All right, so let's say I want to I want to ask Mr. B for some money. Hello, Mr. B, how are you? Uh, say, give me some money. All right, so. I'm, uh, I'm just being a little snarky here. I'm saying, give me $10, enter as a float, right? I'm going to hit uh, run just to make sure I didn't screw anything up, right? So my name, or say my name is G, just keep playing. All right, give me $10, enter as a float. All right, so now that I know that works, let's change this up a little bit. And I'm going to give B the chance to give me $10. So I'm going to change this to an input, right? So it'll ask him for an input, and I'm going to say this is a variable, $10. And you can see that this auto kind of wrap thing is happening. That's not the end of the world. Um, I could show you how to do this in a better way, um, but it'll work just fine for right now. Um, in theory, I should be about that wide anyway. All right, so we'll just go ahead and widen that up a little bit. So I'm asking for $10. B is going to enter $10, and I'm going to print $10. All right, so... I realize I'm being a little snarky here, but I just want to get to the end here. So into your name, Mr. B. Hello, Mr. B. How are you? Give me $10. So I go, okay, here's your 10. Cool. Well, the problem is that doesn't look like $10, right? That just looks like uh, the number 10. So how can we format this? Well, it turns out we can use this really funny format, right? So let's go ahead and put a little printer. You gave me... And I'm going to put a dollar sign because I'm going to need that. And then I'm going to close my quotes, comma, because something is coming next, $10. Now, the problem with that, of course, is it's still not going to be perfect. Right? Again, Mr. B, how are you? Give me $10. I put in 10. You gave me 10. Let's still, it's not 10.00. And there's that space there again that we got to get rid of that came from the comma. So how could I do that? Well, here's a fun one. This doesn't work for every program everywhere all the time, but for most of the programs in my course where I'm not making you do calculations in your string, a quick easy one is just use the format function. So what I'll do is I'll come down here and say format, or I'll wildly misspell it, format, and inside that I'm going to say format my variable, in this case $10, and format it as .2f. Sorry, not j, just dot two F. So you can see up here, it's even telling me the value, the format specification, All right? So format $10. And of course, because I want to get rid of that space, I'm going to say sep equals nothing. Make sure everything's closed. Check my brackets, count my brackets, one bracket, two bracket, three bracket, four bracket. And I can see the capital that needs to be pretty. So this cute little format, the value two F, that's awesome. Now, there's only one other problem I see, right? Right now, I'm accepting input, but I said enter as a float. So how do I make sure it enters a float? Well, right now, uh, Python's going to try to implicitly convert, which is going to get weird. So I'm going to go in here and say float input, give me $10, enter as a float, right? And make sure my brackets are all there. So count them. One, two, three, four, five, uh-oh, six. 
Now I've got all my brackets in there. Here, I'll pull this a little wider so you can see the whole thing is aligned for a moment. So you can see, give me $10, enter as a float. I'm converting it to a float and then I'm showing it as a format. Now, I'm not saying this is the best way or the only way. I'm just saying it's kind of an easy way in my classes. So I can put in my name, Mr. B. Well, Mr. B, give me $10. I'm going to give you $10 as a float. You gave me $10 as a float. All right. So there's a couple of little tricks there. Again, this is not a technique that you would carry forward into any commercial program you're writing. Um, but for a quick down and dirty, simple, just getting through some of these assignments where all I really care about is that it looks like $10. And that's very valid. Sometimes we want our output to show something in a format, but that's not the way we're really saving it. That's a quick, easy way to do it.